Now we will construct the 16 petal waters in a step by step fashion. I will sketch the, the lotus petal and say the name of the deity sitting there. This is Kama Karshini, Buddha Karshini, Ahankara Karshini, Shabda Karshini, Parsha Karshini. Rupa Karshini, Rasa Karshini, Gandha Karshini, Chitta Karshini, Dhaivya Karshini, Smritya Karshini, Nama Karshini, Bija Karshini, Atma Karshini, Amra Karshini, in your mind's eye, this is Shadiya Karshini. In your mind's eye, you are drawing this petal and saying Kama Karshini, Buddha Karshini, Ahankara Karshini, Shabda Karshini, Tasha Karshini, Rupa Karshini, Asa Karshini, Gandha Karshini, Chitta Karshini, Dhairya Karshini, Spritya Karshini, Nama Karshini, Bija Karshini, Atma Karshini, Amrita Karshini, Shadiya Karshini. So you are inside the square, you are constructing the 16 petal lotus starting from the petal nearest to you and going anti clockwise. Inside the 16 petal lotus, we have an 8 petal lotus here. Here, time is going in, in jumping fashion. Time is not there when you are sleeping. And it is there when you are woken up. And sequence is strange here. It doesn't follow the clockwise or anti-clockwise. It goes in jumps. To indicate that, we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There's eight petals. These eight petals represent the sleeping state of the separated soul from the cosmos. And the deities representing these eight petals are Alanga Kosume, Alanga Mekhale. Alanga Madane Alanga Madane Alanga Madana Tare Alanga Rekhe Alanga Vegani Alangaan Kushe Alanga Marade <coughs> The square represents the waking state The sixteen petals represent the, the dreaming state And these represent Eight petals represent the, the sleeping state This is called Prakata Yoganis where what you see, others also see. And the dream state is particular to you. What you experience is different from what others experience. This is called 
secret yoginis or gupta yoginis. And these are even more secret yoginis because not even you don't know what is happening in your deep sleep. They are, they are held secret even from you. In waking state, dreaming state and sleeping state. And the fourth state after that is when you lose your separation from the world and merge back into the world. They say that the, the individual jiva is separate from the world, you draw a circle. The circle is the world. Outside the world is your separate, like, a, like an ocean in which a wave has come and from the wave you have come as a particle of foam then you merge back into the wave and the wave merges back, back, merges back into the, in the ocean. So inside this world, this world keeps creating life form and merging back into itself. Now we will look into the structure of the cosmos. There are three substructures in the cosmos and they are in the world. There are supposed to be 14 worlds. Even at the atomic level, we have 14 electronic shells. The S, P, D, F. F is the 14 electrons surrounding the uranium nucleus. So that is the and at the individual level, they are supposed to, the, the cosmic individual level, the Virat Swarupa, there are 14 worlds it, it's supposed to, and they are Atala, Vetala, Sutala, Tala Atala, Asa Atala, Maha Atala, Patala. And we are living in the eighth world here, Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha, Mahaha, Janaha, Tapaha, Satyam. Now, look at this hexagonal shape here. At the bottom of this and the top of this, two worlds are there. And on this side, there are three, this side there are three, this side there are three, this side there are three. So three into four, twelve, plus two, fourteen worlds. Now we'll and try to create the structure inside our mind by drawing the structure and visualizing and associating them with the names of the goddesses in the Sri Chakra. So here the sequence goes anti-clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, these are called by the following names. First, let me outline this hexagonal shape, which you can think of these triangles as being attached. This one, Sarvasan Kshurabhani. Sarva Vidravini, Sarva Kashini, Sarva Haladini, Sarva Sammohini, Sarva Stambhini, Sarva Jrumbhini, Sarva Vashankari, Sarva Ranjani, Sarvon Madani, Sarva Dasajike, Sarva Sampati Porani, Sarva Mantra Mai, Sarva Dvanda Krayankari. This constitutes the four, fourteen words and Inside that, there is what is called Panchikaranam. There are four sets of five. 
divided into two sets of ten. They are called Bahid Dashara, the outer set of ten triangles, and Anta Dashara, inner set of ten triangles. The triangles represent the the five elements, five five of their properties, and five Gnanendriyas and five Karmendriyas. Five Gnanendriyas and five Karmendriyas are the outer ten inside, and five elements and the five properties are the inside ten. And we will go to a description of this Panchikarnam, the fivefold division of the Sri Chakra. Now we'll look at the next two inner structures of the Sri Chakra. They consist of ten each. Let's again look at the hexagonal shape on which these triangles are hanging. This is the hexagonal shape from which these triangles are sticking out. And we'll draw these triangles in your mind and name them. This Sarva Siddhi Pade, Sarva Sampat Pade, Sarva Priyankari. Sarva Mangala Karini, Sarva Kama Prade, Sarva Dukha Vimochani, Sarva Mrityu Prashamani, Sarva Vigna Nivarani, Sarvanga Sundari, Sarva Sobhagya Dayani. These ten, they again, all these in triangles inside the circle are going anti-clockwise. It's strange. This anti-clockwise represents the left-handed side of the world. And it's known that the world that we are in, living in is left-handed. It could be left-handed or right-handed. If there is a world that is right-handed, we do not or cannot know about it. It is strange and see the tradition lays down that the, uh, the world we are living is left-handed by saying that we are going anti-clockwise in these things. Now we look at the structure of the inner ten triangles. They represent, as I said, the five elements and the five properties. Outer ten triangles represent the five senses and five action organs. Now let's look at the, the hexagon again. From which the ten triangles are sticking out. And we'll name them. Sarvajne, Sarva Shakti, Sarva Ishvara Pradayani, Sarva Jnanamai, Sarva Vyadhi Vinashini, Sarva Adhar Sarupe, Sarva Papa Hare, Sarva Anandamai, Sarva Raksha Sarupini, Sarvetsa Palapade. Now let us move on to the innermost set of the structures. As I said, with 14 corners, 10 corners and 10 corners, the 24 tattvas, 14 plus 10 plus 10, 24, 34 tattvas, they constitute the, um, the outer shell of the cosmos. 
the innermost three structures which you are going to describe are the the geometrical principles on which the world is created manifested we are going into that part now now we are going to look at the the beginning of the universe it again consists of three structures eight triangles here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 inside that the three angles are the triangle and then inside that is a bindu if i made it a point you will not see it because a point has no dimensions therefore we made it into a circle circle represents closure it represents infinity because how far you go you can keep going in the circle and you will not come to an end it represents zero it represents infinity now let us start with the outermost set of triangles that eight in number and they are called vashini kameshwari modini vimale arune jayini sarveshwari kauni we'll discuss the significance of this in a moment but let me complete this structure inside this eight cornered figure is a triangle and this triangle is this one and three deities in the three angles and let's draw this triangle this is called mahakameshwari mahavajeshwari mahabhagamarani and finally the center in the center is the maha tripura sundari this complete the structure of the shri chakra this meditation on the causal form as the geometry which are describing the creation or the imaginative impulse that exists in the mind of god the set of bindu trikona and ashtakona and then it's manifestation or explosion into the world the next set of three and the separation of the individual from the cosmos from this point we have come to this point by a ladder down 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 if you want to reach that point again you have to climb that ladder back up to start from outside most and go step by step step by step step by step to inside now let me discuss the central portion of this triangle this uh, the bindu triangle and uh, and eight triangle you could not even call it a beginning because there is no time to say whether it is beginning or the middle or the end there is no space there is no dimension by which to describe it that is called a bindu out of this dimensional less point the world had to come and how could it come so 
So the central point is described as Sat, Chit and Ananda. You can say this is Sat, the central Bindu. And the awareness which this existence had, Chit or Chaitanya, is represented by this triangle. And the eight triangles surrounding that are called Ananda. Central set of three constitute Satchidananda. Now from this dimensionless thing, some dimension had to come. And dimension means there should be an interval. If there is an interval, that interval has to be measured in space and time. So creation of space and time is this triangle here. Space, time, and what is this one? Space and time are interact with each other and they create the, the matter. So space, time and matter. Space has been called Vishnu because he is all pervasive and time has been called Shiva and Brahma is born out of the union between Shiva and Sh Vishnu. So the space, time and matter have been created and the creation proceeds further through vibrations. No space is there, time is there and something can move from here to there. And that movement is a set of waves. And the set of waves have been classified into eight groups. They have been called in Sanskrit the Vashini Kameshwari. The Vashini represents the group of alphabets. Am, Am, Im, Im, Um, Um, Arum, Arum, etc. up to Aha. Kakha, Gaghanga is one group. Chacha, Jajanya is another group. Tathara dhana, tathara dhana, papa papama, yara lava, sha sha saha, laksha. So the alphabets, the space time interval, Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma, they are called Mahakameshri, Mahajashri, Mahapagamarini. So these constitute the inner one. So this is the, the cosmic laws which are created in the cosmos the cosmos itself and separate individual. This is a meditation on the Sri-Chakra which is to be done when you are drawing the Sri-Chakra in your mind's eye. We have this flat representation here but if you extrude each layer this layer above this, this layer above this, this layer above this and so on this layer is a, this point is the topmost point. That is the three-dimensional diagram of the Sri Chakra, which you saw in the beginning. And may this meditation, this is a form of causal meditation, the cause of the universe, the flow of time, and mastery of time, to be able to act in the past and future as you are able to act in the present. To know what happened in the past and what happened, what happens in the future, as if, as we know what is happening in the present, that is called the mastery of time, our time management. The humanity has evolved to conscious level, but is just understanding the nature of time and how to manage time and how to manifest their wishes. So may God bless you, the experiences. One last and final word about why we choose to show these petals as lotus petals. If we, we could have drawn arcs of circles here, but we chose to draw them as petals of lotus. Because if it is a circle, it represents like this. But if it is a, it starts, goes some way, in some, some manner and then changes its direction. Each petal represents the way the cosmos evolves. It goes, starting, starts from a point, goes towards a certain point, 
The reverse of direction comes back to this. This is the nature of wave itself. So the point to a wave and wave to the point. And again to the wave, again to the point. This oscillation is the breath of life, the breath of God. And that is the reason why we chose to show them with the point of inflection here, which is changing the direction of the curvature here. And this is a cusp, a curve, inflection point and the cusp. They represent the units of manufacturing the universe. So may you be one with the goddess and be able to manufacture the world of your dreams. May God bless you.